Hello viewers, welcome to a code with Pia. So today we are going to be start the new tutorials and technical session with the Python. So today basic goal agenda is we have start with the Python and we are covering why Python what is Python which is the for the page, how the testing and also I'll show you the cover and explain the roadmap what we are going to do in the next upcoming sessions and then uh, yeah, we'll see some basic syntax how the Python and everything. So without wasting time, let, let's start. And uh, I'm taking to my screen. I'm running the Unix code. So the VS code is a basic uh, compiler ID so we can use but Python it's more better now. So the pre-request for this one is you need to install with the Python. I'm using Python 3.11, 3.11 that's the latest version you want, like 3.1 is a day, but this is some beta version that fully loaded. Currently we are using the Python 3.11 and I am using the ID as a VS code. So first I have taken a new file. Yeah. Before let get go with the roadmap what we are going to be see. So this is the plan. We are starting with the intro, like introduction and the history. Uh, we are covering the basics of Python and we are seeing with some syntax. And then how we can be comment comments add the comments in the Python. That's the uh, first session. And uh, in the next sessions, we are going to start with the from variables, data types, numbers, and casting strings, booleans, operations. Uh, in the next session, and then we have a list to full sets dictionary, uh, and then we have a loops conditional statements and uh, functions lambda arrays uh, we are going to these cover all this one in one session and sometimes it may be take more than one session also i'm tracking it immediately up uh, try to do group of uh, into a single group so then we are going with the woods so of course it will take some two three sessions at least and we have exceptions, try exceptions, try exceptions, and we go with this one and the user input and the string formats. And then we have a file handling and reading a file, reading, write, delete, update, write, everything. And we are going with the modules like when you are going through the module, how to install the module, how to import the module, like the packages and everything and what are the inbuilt one we are going to some use some external libraries also uh, like uh, we are when we are going to be the machine learning and the data engineering concepts we how to use the PySpar and us uh, by these libraries we are going to import those things and then we are working with python with mysql so uh, yeah this is the overview and we are going to the modules we are going to cover the number of modules we have like we are going to cover one by one so not in the sequence once we start then we'll move on to the cover the basic things then we'll go to as our plan like going to the live sessions then we'll be more focused on these modules so if you explain all the modules in one time it will be confused so we are going to be one by one module and what how you can be utilized in a real time scenario and we will be try to go with some hands off on the each and every package and then we can do it okay so yeah and for this one intro we show you history of course history of python you can browse it and google you can want to will show you and also i will give you some a few websites for your reference and then you can utilize this like uh, for if you follow these websites and if you try to practice here and you can be uh, more hands-on 
if you if we are working with user system is not available of course python is it required much compatibility you can a basic minimum minimum requirement uh, uh, is far more than enough and i'll give you a few websites first one is wd3 skills the reason for wd3 skills is uh, you have a id inbuilt id you can directly write your code and you can test it here itself not, not lengthy course you can a small course you can write some um, small and medium level courses so you can see we have this is our w3 schools python and if you go to click here try yourself and you can write your own code print hello world if you can run this code and Yeah, you can see here it was printed. And here, print. Can see code welcome to code with VR. So it's a simple way you can write your code, and yeah, we'll go one by one. Then, if you think about the history, uh, we will go with the one by one. Then, we have uh, geeks for geeks. can find the more information in the basic Django data analysis numpy we are going to be uh, covered with numpy pandas and everything data types input operations and operators control flows functions groups so everything is covered here collections okay and what else we have so we have a operator called kiwi which basically a gui whenever you write the code you can convert it to graphical and you can view the output in a graphical format whatever you you are required and we along with the kiwi tinker by Qwerty, there is a five few packages which is uh, specially uh, executed in a like basically uh, Tinker uh, okay not Tinker it's a total so total is basically one kind of package you can design and you can uh, like you can draw your uh, animations yourself and with a few lines of code that will be also one of the interesting one and we have Django of course you I introduced a on Dropbox uh, image processing we have open zero on pillow and these are the high level concepts when we go to data engineering, data science and we'll cover try to this one and web scrapping bubble soap selenium selenium is of course uh, we can uh, generally testing and yeah this will be the web scrappers and once we'll go to advanced level uh, once certain cover the basic things then we'll go one by one on these modules and what else we have Geeks for geeks. Um, of course, uh, definitely Python. We have to forget. Uh, it should be in a first priority. And but I will be given a okay. And this is the documentation where uh, I'll provide you all these links in the description. You can find it there. And we have documentation here somewhere. Yeah docs python docs so you can see a complete reference you can start with the tutorials 
See here, like it's more than enough. If you understand the history of Python or why Python, what is Python and then this is so if you can see here the Python is interpreted languages. So what do you mean by interpreted? So interpreted is nothing but uh, suppose uh, let me go to here. So here, like if you can see any other languages, C, Java, or anything. You have to be there is a different section you have to add a section and you have to documentation section you have to uh, like mm, uh, everything functional like everything you have to define like you know open braces uh, closed braces like a lot of stuff is there but in python you don't need all those information and the execution also it has to start from the beginning and it will go to a uh, sequential the the formation like uh, it will start with the header section and go to main method and uh, functions that will be a normal process but if you work in a python even if you write a single line then it will execute it's, uh, we can say on time running when you write a code you can execute that same line you don't need to wait until until compilation until converting to another format like a, you work with a scala then it has to be compiled build and you have to come build in java and then there is a lot of stuff so it will take you time take you process that is the one of the this is one of the reason like uh, more developer interested in the python so it's an easy language you can easily if you uh, click on the run test it see here that's it and like uh, invitation arguments and we'll count this in the next session data structures more things and in the entire session we'll try to follow with the documentation so that's uh, makes your reference if you have any like if you want to reference in future uh, which means if you want a theoretical reference in a documented way you can go and uh, look into this work and documentation so that's an easy way like uh, i'll try to take the more example from this documentation while explaining these tutorials and uh, yeah then we will see um, what else we have. Okay, and what we covered. Mm -hmm. Tutorial point, yeah. Tutorial point is the one of the uh, best resources you can collect. But I, I don't think you don't need to be focused on multiple things. Primary focus is uh, if you want, if you don't have any system in your hand, like if your system is not compatible, or you are trying with a mobile or something else. Uh, even in Android, also there is a multiple applications you can download from Play Store and App Store for iOS users. So you can utilize those one. But in case you are not able to utilize that one, you can directly. You don't have any compiler installed, or you don't have any uh, space to work with the Python or to install with the Python or to install uh, VS Code. Can directly come into this website and you can try it uh, you can practice whatever you want uh, that's why i'm giving this in the first place and in the second place uh, we are going with obviously a python documentation and the entire uh, session as i mentioned we are following with the python documentation only and then uh, gigs for gigs and uh, the tutorial points so you can follow this one so it's more than enough you no need to go with these two one also. You will try to cover with maximum with the uh, these two only. Uh, Python documentation we have everything. So it's official document also. Whenever there is update, new features will be added. It will be added to this documentation. And then, if you want to go with the history, then you can look into the this uh, Wikipedia page. And Python was. Uh, uh, like the coincidence in late 1980s and kind of that also with the developer uh, first time every developer of this Python and you can see first appeared on the 20th February 1991 and there is a lot of stuff here if you want to be understand 
uh, by the Python and well, one basic thing I, I have to mention that there is a Python version 2 and Python version 3 uh, where the difference between Python 2 or 3 there is a uh, no you'll definitely confuse if you use the Python 2 or Python 3 and the thing is uh, if you the, the way of execution I'll say uh, we have syntax and little bit changes in syntax also so I try to recommend not go to with the Python 2 it's a outdated version or it's a we can say it's a old version so we are not going with that one we have it's so in the 3.88 but you know officially we okay 3.10.4 but we have it 3.11 and I guess 3.21 is reversed is it yeah it's a devil's test 3.1 current version is 3.1.1.1 so currently we are using this version there is upcoming version in uh, nearby future and then what we have so you can go with the information if you want if you want to understand uh, uh, in detail about python like a history of the python and who are developer of this is a person by the country so We'll cover all these topics in later while we are in a session. Yes, we get birds for plan for today. Okay, we have completed the intro. We are going with the syntax. Yeah, syntax is simple. So, if you want to be uh, write anything. This is a method statement, and if you want to be go with the comments, then I have let me add here. We have two types of comments as well as other languages. First one is with a hash. If you keep it a hash in any print line, uh, line print at the beginning of the line then the entire line will be uh, recognized as a comment so this is my first program first yeah. okay then if you want to be multi-line comment You can use a three three double quotes or at beginning and end ending, or you can use three single quotes of the word will pass. And this is If you run this one, so you can see it won't be correct, it will be ignored by the runtime. And the same way, you can use the same thing in a single line also. Single quotes, three single quotes. And yeah, so this here also can represent. And one more thing, we have one more interesting with this double course of multi-line. We can convert if there is a complex uh, thing. We have a special character, sorry, multiple escape characters. And if you are not able to represent a string with a single uh, uh, single double quotes, uh, we can use these things. And that if you that will be covered uh, in the session. And let us try with this one thing here. Suppose my variable x is print x. Okay, okay, 
I was sorry, I want to do get the wrong variable. So we don't need to define any variables in front of this. So if you can see, you can uh, do this way. Uh, you can do y is equal to hello and print x from on that and so you can see two times hello is printed this is the first time and this is the second time and here we have a, in a print we have an option called separator separation is equal to slash n so which means uh, at end of each comma separated by the comma and whenever it was separated then it will be added to new line and we have an option called end also whenever the line ending it will add the new line so if you want to give end with the hyphen let's see what happened so you can see at each and every end of the statement you can add this one or you can do separator with hyphen Hello, hyphen, hyphen. This way you can be play with this one. So you don't need to spend much time in the running like other syntaxes. It's a very simple syntax in Python. And we cover the comments and we cover the syntax. And if we try with uh, loops and everything will go further. And if you want to be import any packages that you yeah, simply can write into my packages that's simple uh, that's a simple way you can put at any time the packages uh, recommended is at beginning and yeah now do we have anything to do for this session we cover the comments, syntax, intro, and we went through all. That's it for this session, and we'll be a catch up in the next session, and we'll be start with the uh, variables, data types, and numbers and everything. Yes, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye bye.